Hello crafters, welcome to today's video where we are talking about Cricut project ideas to make and sell this year in 2022. With the new year coming up, I wanted to do a whole new video of project ideas that you can do, whether you have a Cricut Explore Air 2 like me, you have a Cricut Maker, maybe you just got a new Cricut for the holidays. Let's talk about some fun projects that you can make. As always, I put the pictures up here and any of the blog posts, free SVG files, or any links that you need will be in the Pinterest board linked down below here. You can press on there and you will find all of those free files and blogs for you to check out how to make those beautiful projects right there for you. So it's all in the description box, any tutorials and things like that. Like I said, these aren't the normal ideas that I talk about. So birthday themed shirts. And what I mean by that is for kids birthdays, parents are looking for certain themed for shirts. So for example, for my daughter's birthday, maybe I would be looking for something that says the number four for her age and her name Aria on there. So maybe I'm looking for something like that. And that would be something that I would pay someone to make for me. So if you're looking for something to sell, birthday themed shirts are a great one. Now some of these ideas do get into the kind of nitty gritty bits with things like Disney themes and stuff like that. And you do need to be careful if you are looking to sell stuff like that just because of copyright issues. And Disney is known to sue people for stuff like that. So be careful if you are trying to sell Disney things on Etsy and stuff like that because you might get in trouble. But if you're just doing some fun birthday themed shirts, I join groups on Facebook and parents are always looking for those. So that is a great one to make some money and a fun project to make for the kids in your life. Birth stat blocks and elephants and plaques signs, fun ones as well. Now the first few here are definitely children themed and I would say that's a great market. If you're looking to make some good money with your Cricut, making things for parents to get for their kids, so like I said, birth stat things, any type of clothing that is personalized for their kids, stuffed animals, stuff like that, parents love spending money on their kids. And they love things that are personalized for their child. I know I sure do for my kids. So it's definitely a good market to get into if you are looking to make some money with your Cricut craft. Farmhouse decor is a really popular one that people are selling right now. So things like signs for the laundry room, for the kitchen, the bathroom. People are doing serving trays and doormats a wreath for the door, a wood round sign with your family's name on it. People are making decals for soap pumps and q-tip jars and honestly the opportunities are kind of endless with this. So farmhouse decor is kind of like a really trendy thing to do right now and sell so definitely a good market to dip your toes into if you're looking to make some money with your Cricut as well. If you have a Cricut machine that can do the engraving function Things like making some engraved keychains, engraved tools. I've seen people doing spatulas and little spreading knives for their cheese boards and what they call charcuterie boards. So those are a really fun one to do. People are also doing some wood burning, things like cutting boards and even signs. And you're able to make a really beautiful piece out of this stencil. Along with that, you can also do some stencils for etching. You buy some etching cream from Michaels and you're able to make some beautiful etched glass projects. Spotify playlist plaques are another popular one. Again, please be careful if you are selling these things because some of these are copyright things that you could get in trouble for selling. But if you are making them for family and friends or personal use, wedding decor is a hot market, especially lately with everyone having to postpone their wedding for a few years because of the crazy few years we just had. So any type of wedding decor, bridesmaid boxes, tumblers, robes, signs, table settings, centerpieces, coat hangers that say bride, wine glasses, flip-flops. Those are all great things. People are going to buy a lot of them. People look for little favors to give at their wedding. So weddings are a really big one and people are looking and willing to spend money on their wedding and for decor, especially because a lot of people are going to be getting married in summer of 2022. So they are looking to order their decor now. Now that things are starting to open back up in the world, making things like personalized passport holders, personalized phone cases, luggage tags with 
faux leather, which we'll get into some more faux leather crafts in a minute here. But like I said, people are going traveling and because we were all held down for the past few years, people are wanting to make it a whole experience. So you can really tap into that and make some creative crafts and projects to either sell or give to someone or bring on your own trip. Now let's get into the faux leather ideas. You can make things like earrings, keychains, bows, hair ties, clips, bracelets, I've seen people doing wallets, things like lighter holders and sanitizer holders. There are so many options and the great thing about this is you can even add decals to it. So it's really a great project to use different types of materials in and another one that people are going to be buying multiples of so they can use it as little favors for their party. Maybe they want to purchase some little bows or hair clips and they're probably going to buy more than one. Personalized stuffed animals, I always mention because those are very popular with kids and families, but lately personalized squishmallows or squishimals, I think they're called, they're essentially like really squishy and soft stuffed animals and people are personalizing these and they sell really great because the kids are really into those right now. So definitely check out maybe selling something like that because they're doing very well at this point in time. And I paid off my Cricut machine by just selling personalized stuffed animals. So trust me, there is a market for it. Night lights are a really cute one as well to make. So I love picking up a night light just from the dollar shop and adding a cute decal, doing one like Elsa for my daughter, or maybe just adding her name on it. Those are a really fun one to do. And like I said, I'm trying to give you some unique ideas that aren't normally talked about to make with your Cricut. So I'm talking about some new creative projects to get working on. Projects that are TV themed or movie themed are a great one to dip into. So like I said, just be careful with any copyright type of issues, but people are making, let's say a Starbucks tumbler or a Starbucks cold cup, and they're adding things from Grey's Anatomy or maybe Harry Potter. When Bridgerton first came out on Netflix, I saw a lot of people selling anything that was Bridgerton theme, whether that be shirts or mugs or cups. So those are really great ones to do because there is a continuous market for it because people love movies. I've seen Friends being a very popular one. I feel like it might be a little overdone at this point, but hey, people are looking for it. People like the shows, so they are willing to pay money to get some fun kind of merch from their shows. Now, in my usual videos for Cricut Project Ideas, I do like to list things like regular shirts with HTV on it and making things like hats and mugs and tumblers, you know, all of the things that I like to mention. But in this video, I really wanted to give you some new creative and unique ideas to be making, whether you're looking to sell or just craft for fun in 2022. I really wanted to do something new and fresh for the new year coming up. And this way you have just so many ideas. But if you're looking for even more ideas, I have many videos with different Cricut craft ideas to make and sell, make to gift, or just make for around your home. So be sure to check out this video next for some really great and fun Cricut ideas to make this year. And then I also have a a whole Cricut playlist for you to check out for all Cricut tutorials, Cricut content, and just fun crafty Cricut ideas. So be sure to check out those out as well. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting. Bye for now.